In this chapter, we are going to learn about content builder. While working on marketing cloud, you will realize that most of the time you're going to work with content builder. Content builder consists of various other small programs or functions by name content block, templates, layout, and email. Now, let me switch over to marketing cloud and explain each one of them as to how they fit into the larger picture. Now, if I go to the marketing cloud, if you look over here in the shared content, there is, we are going to add a content. Now consider content as a library where re reusable artifacts could be kept. For example, if you are a marketer and your job is to send the emails out, to do that, you will create a library of an artifact and then you will reuse that artifact as many times as you want. In this particular example, you as a marketer has been tasked to send promo code to flyers so that they can use that promo code to book tickets on the airline. To do that, on the very first step, we are going to create a content. Let's call that content as banner logo. Say next. We'll say image only. I'm going to upload a file from my local drive to the marketing cloud. And depending upon the size of the file, it may take few seconds to probably few minutes for the file to be uploaded. Mine was quick. So now this is how the content will look like to the end user or subscriber. So far, we have done very first step of uploading content. Now we are going to use this content in a template. To do that, we'll go it, we will go to share templates. There, we're going to create an email template. Let me call it as promo code template. Save it. The marketing cloud gives you an option where you can change the layout of the template. Either you can use any one of those depending upon your business use case. For our own demo, we are going to keep it simple. I'll select layout C, where on the top you have got banner and below you have content area. In this content area, as a marketer, you are going to specify the promo code that has to be used by the flyer. Since we have already created the content for banner, we will retrieve it. Let's say retrieve banner, browse, shared content, banner logo. And in the main, we are now going to customize it or personalize it for our subscriber. Say main. Now, two steps have been done. The very first step was preparing a content, then using that content in a template. And the last step is now to create an email. To do that, I'll go and say create template paste. I'll select a template. I'll give a name. I'm doing a promo in the month of November. Give a subject, which a subscriber will look at it and will be forced to open or would be happy to open it. Your savings. Enclosed. Pre header are a few lines which a subscriber see in their inbox and should contain the information about the content of the email. Promo code for November. Hit save. Now we are going to 
personalize it we'll say create content this time we will say let's keep it text only next now we can start typing over here now we say dear and we are going to do personalization let's say dear first name your promo code is hit bold let's save it Now once my email is ready, I can preview it before sending it. I'll say send preview. I'll select a subscriber. Say generate preview. Now this is how it will look like. Dear Brett, your promo code is. I can see how it will look like in mobile also. This is how it will look like on mobile. Subject line, the one what you mentioned then. So just to recap in this chapter, we learned how to first create a content. Once the content was created, we then made use of the content to create a template. Now, after the template was created, we created an email based on the template. The whole reason being that template can be reused because these promo code would be sent probably daily, weekly, monthly based on the use case. Thank you. And this concludes the chapter on the content area. Thank you.